time is 8 39. Let's get over to meteorologist Jeff Fortran. Yeah, this has definitely been the highlight of my morning, clicking around some of the wildfires and checking on the updates. And boy, the bootleg fire, that is some really good news that firefighters have gained containment up to 74% around that perimeter. Uh, in some of the most active times of this fire, when we were dealing with really sunny skies and hot conditions out there, we saw active hot spots along the northern and eastern peripheries of the fire. We only saw a few hot spots on the northern tier of the fire line, so that is really good news. And the reason being is we dealt with higher humidity yesterday, cloudier skies, scattered showers and isolated storms, and cooler temperatures. Conditions today, well, they're going to probably range between the upper 80s and low 90s in terms of temperatures. Humidity will drop into the teens, but that certainly beats the single digit humidity values. So it won't be terribly dry out there. It will turn gusty, though. It's going to be still fairly challenging to contain this fire, but I'm so glad that they've contained it by about three quarters of uh, the perimeter. Now, as far as uh, conditions go out in La Grande in northeast Oregon, it's cloudy out there. We're tracking scattered showers. It's also a little bit hazy due to wildfire smoke in the air in the mid to upper levels of the atmosphere. Also looks kind of hazy from our Adventure Park at Ski Bowl camera. Uh, we caught a decent sunrise up there this morning. Other than that, though, we're tracking partly cloudy skies, uh, thin wildfire smoke. Bulk of the showers this morning are focusing in over the northeast portion of the state. Let's go ahead and flip on the visible satellite imagery. That's showing some of that marine layer along the coast, mostly clear skies in the interior valleys of western Oregon, uh, but we have cloudy skies across the eastern tier of the state. The moisture axis is basically stretching from Idaho all the way to basically the Cascades, uh, so areas west of the Cascades are seeing drier conditions. The mechanism that is drawing this moisture in from the south is the high-pressure system. Remember, air flows clockwise around high pressure systems that's drawing in the moisture across the Pacific Northwest also drawing in some of that wildfire smoke so that's why you're seeing some hazy skies over the next few days we'll still remain under the west side of this high pressure system but I think it'll really back off once we get into about Wednesday and Thursday opening the door to that trough of low pressure that's expected to swing through the Pacific Northwest uh, Thursday Friday into Saturday I showed you the GFS model the last hour of Good Day Oregon that's the American model uh, that was showing that between Thursday and Friday we'll have chances for rain returning to northwest Oregon and western Washington. This is the European model and it's showing a very consistent run here. So I think we'll see wet conditions uh, to wrap up the work week and this system is also going to usher in cooler air. Today is not going to be a very cool day though. In fact, it's going to be rather hot. Uh, because of sunnier skies, hazy sunshine and a few high clouds out there, we're going to end up climbing into the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. Yesterday, the cloudy skies kept us in the low to mid 80s around the metro area. Uh, we take it into Monday and Tuesday. We'll end up seeing mostly sunny skies. Temperatures are going to max out in the low to mid 90s. I think I think Tuesday is going to end up being the hottest day of the week. We slowly cool back down Wednesday and Thursday. We see a drop in temperatures by about 10 degrees as showers return and cloudier skies return as well. I think between Thursday and Friday, we'll have highs in the upper 70s and low 80s. Saturday, we should be drying out, but we'll have some cool air behind that system and highs may dip into the mid 70s around the metro area. Deb, back to you.